Hey guys. So, we're back on Sable. Uh, it's been a couple days. Uh, you remember that we were looking for three pieces of a bike. We had to get Beetles trade for one of them. So, in my opinion, those are some pretty expensive Beetles. Uh, for an automatic calibrator. Which, I'm familiar with automatic calibration. But... <laughs> And they're not as cheap as three beetles. But we're sitting here with Grandma. Uh, we have to go get the third one. I figured out that R is, I guess, rest. So that uh, you sit down. I don't know. Yeah, okay. So still zero messages. I don't know if you get a notification when you get a message. Or if you just need to keep checking it. Uh, but this time, when we go, we're not going to forget our bike. Because that was a, uh, that was quite the trek to that last one. Although we did, we did find the beetles. Uh, we did find the beetles on the way back due to me forgetting the bike. Because I floated quite far with the bubble. Just to see how far I could go from the dam over there. And if I didn't, like that's how I found the pipe that the, that the beetles were in. And uh, if the bike was there, then I would have just drove right past it. What is in the air? What is that? It's not another rock, is it? No. I don't know what that is. I also don't know where we're going. Hello? Oh, right there. Okay. That's concerning. I'm going the wrong way. Alright, so I don't know how we're going to climb this mountain. Oh, another tunnel. Never mind. Uh, I think a recurring theme of this is follow the tunnels. Which, I had a weird dream one day about tunnels. They weren't really, they weren't really tunnels, but uh, the things I dreamt about were about these things called tunnels. It wasn't about them, but like it was a major, it was a recurring thing in the uh, dream I had. And it was a, it was actually, it was a dream that to me, it was like I was watching a movie while I was dreaming, which I have never experienced before. Like the, the first person view of this dream, it wasn't really first person, but it was, it was sometimes, uh, but the, am I going the right way? I have no idea. I'm following this path anyway. The, uh... Yeah, the first person view of the main character was not me. And, like, yeah, I've had dreams where it's, like, it's not me as the, the, the protagonist of the dream. Uh, for some reason... <laughs> Yeah, and this this one was different because it didn't feel like I was the protagonist of a dream. It felt like I was just straight up watching a movie. And this movie went on... It wasn't too long. Uh, obviously, your dreams seem longer or shorter. Wait, which is it? Your dreams seem... Like, they've gone on for a lot more than however long you've been sleeping for, whether it be eight hours or whatever. Uh, it wasn't too terribly long. I don't know if it makes sense that I know this dream in real time didn't occur over, like, six hours I was sleeping or something like that. Like, I know that this dream only took about 15 minutes. But in that time, it was, like, an hour and a half? But for some reason, I don't know why I know it only took 15 minutes. And it's one of those dreams, too, that, like, you... You kind of fill in the blanks with, like, the, like, missing bits and, like... Between, like, this scene and this scene, like, you can tell that there was something in the middle, but you never actually dreamt it. But for some reason, this dream, when it was all over, over the course of, like, a day or two, I was able to, like, remember the dream 
thoroughly even the bits in between it was it was so weird i don't know what i'm supposed to do with this thing i just picked up is it was that the thing i was looking for it is too oh items no is it this no Compass, no, that's my stuff. Here's the thing we just picked up. Automatic power supply, okay. Where was I? But anyway, this dream is something... If I have enough creative juices... Or, like... I end up, like... Meeting people down this road of YouTube that I'm doing... If I end up meeting people that are able to, like... Bring this dream I had into, like... A video or a movie or like a series of YouTube videos I will hop on it because this dream when it was over when I woke up it was so good that like the movie I just watched I enjoyed thoroughly Are we supposed to go down here that's new <laughs> what if I took that fall that kind of fall before I got the orb. But yeah, that, uh, like, this dream is in my head, and it's not going anywhere fast. So, when I'm able to in the future, the probably the distant future, mind you, when I'm able to, I will make this dream I had into a series of YouTube videos, or probably not a full length movie, because. Uh, I'm not a producer of any sort of the word. Murd? The, any sort of the word? Where's my bike? Oh, that's right. It's on the other side. But it is... If I ever get the opportunity, I will make this series of YouTube videos. Because it is like... One scene, things happen. Another scene, things happen. Another scene, another scene, another scene. And like, it progresses. So it could be just a series of YouTube videos, each titled like what the scene is in. Like the first one we set in like in a it's it's set in a garden, so like it could be called Garden. Like the episode is just the garden episode. Uh and I'll I'll make it. Because it's not going out of my brain anytime soon. And I started to write it down. And I told I told Anne the entire thing. We got home one day and I had to tell her about the dream I had the night previous. And we sat in the car for a good 40 minutes or so, and I was just going from start to finish with this dream I had, and she thinks it was really, really neat too, and like, the strange thing is, is when you have dreams, usually it's based on a bunch of things you experienced the previous day, or something you've experienced in your life, your dream, especially faces, and like, in my, <laughs> your dreams, especially faces, aren't are like never based on anything you have never seen before. So like the faces in my dream I've seen before, they were actually actors. Uh, which is why like the whole like movie thing came into my head. Uh, but, and like the scenery and like the rooms and stuff were probably something I've seen before, like at various occasions in my life. But the actual story the actual story, I have never heard of the concept of the story before. And it was so surreal when I woke up. Because the first thing that, come, that went through my head was, where the hell did all that come from? Like, I don't know, I don't know, like, where these idea, this idea of this movie came from. So I've never heard of it. Maybe sometime in the future, if people ask me, I will tell them what it was. I'll tell them, like, personally, but I don't want to say what it was uh, in, to any extent in, in a video like this, because I seriously think, and, like, nobody's going to watch this video and, like, take this idea from me, but I'm actually terrified somebody would take this idea for a movie or a series of videos and do it themselves, so that, like, if I ever did it, I'm, I look like I'm the copycat of the plagiarist. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, no, like, I'm excited for someday 
in the future for that to just uh, to be something you guys can watch. Like, I want you to enjoy it the way I enjoyed it. Like, you're not going to be asleep with your eyes closed, but... Could I? I might. If I meet the right people, it won't... <laughs> It won't be a series of YouTube videos. It won't be a movie. It'll be like one of those story-driven first-person visual novels that you can buy on Steam, like 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 uh, Science Gate, which originally a visual novel on uh, on Steam or wherever it was originally. And I don't think you could really like persuade the story like in a different direction for some reason. Maybe you could. So I've actually I've never actually seen the visual novel I've just seen the anime and I love it uh but I want to like make this visual novel in VR so you can see the perspectives that I saw and just like it because it'd be like a movie right but no VR wouldn't work because VR you need to be able to look around your environment and like there wasn't really looking around in the dream are you ready to assemble a bike of your own uh, I'm ready. Apparently, this bike only takes three parts. <clears throat> this is gonna be a this is gonna be a, a cheap bike. Well, it's already cheap. It's made from hand me downs, <clears throat> junk scrap. She's a relaxes in the workshop. It isn't that she's particularly rigid or anxious ordinarily, but there's a certain calm beauty that one can that one only truly appreciates when Cizo is in her element. Well, yeah, because she's a uh, machinist, right? I wonder if it's this way for all machinists. Yep. Psst. Slap you in the face of the machinist after that. What you must under... I'm going to give you a bloodhound voice by accident. Um, what you must understand, Sable, is that the components you acquired, they fit together. Not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. Nature? They have always belonged to her. You may call me Blue Hunter. All we are doing is assembling her from what she has already been. Are we talking about nature or just a, a bike now? I nod and feel a soft buzzing in my ears. Among my clan, we believe that machinists have names. Machines have names, excuse me. Held for ages like deep secrets. Unheard by those unequipped to listen. I did it again. I... I always... The past tense of equip is equipped. And I always... I don't say I equip it. Yeah, it's, it's, so, it's so weird. I don't know why I always thought this. And maybe I am right, and I'm just misremembering the information I heard, like, recently. Um... I have always say, instead of I equip this, I have always say I equipped this. Like there's a T after the P's, but no, <laughs> so I'm saying the past tense every time. Uh, am I clicking a button? Do I just get on or I talk to you? What am I doing? Oh, E. Okay. Okay. Carefully. Carefully. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, Jesus. See, where did all these parts come from? Okay, that goes there. And this goes in the front, I'm assuming? Yep. Okay. There we go. Alright, now what do we do? It's kind of weird that these things didn't go in the machines. Maybe I should push the proper button. <laughs> Gliding bike front. Uh, oh. Alright, this goes here. And then this jams on top of it. Gliding bike booster. Am I building this or is she? Here we go. Oh, <laughs> gliding bike wings. Oh, what did I put? I put the automatic power source in them. Why do the wings need a power source? Shouldn't the power source have gotten this? 
What did I put in this? The calibrator? No. What three parts did I have again? You'd think that this would be like a calibrator. This would be the... This, yeah, this would be the power source. And this would be whatever the third part was. I can't remember. Alright, do I push the button now? No. Am I talking to you now? Hi. Caesar Relax is a workshop. And it's the same thing as before. Oh. Well, that's obvious. Simoon? I got an achievement that says Simoon. Fascinating. <clears throat> you got a... You got like... You got like some nuts or like a wrench. Hot, hot glue. Gum? This isn't going to stick together if you just do that. It's music. What am I hearing? What am I listening to? Tilts your head for a moment, leaning closer to Simoon. All at once, I know the hoverbike's name, Simoon. Say it in a whisper to let Sizo know. Simoon. Simoon. Well done, Sim. What sort of name is that? What does it mean? Does she want to go with me? That's a good question. She does, clan child. <clears throat> Simoon is a wandering spirit like you, I think. I tell Simoon that I am eager to know her better, and Sizo looks quite proudly at the both of us. Both of us! Are you ready, then, for the gliding? May all the gods turn their faces from you. Am I committing some horrible sin? An odd blessing, perhaps, but Sizo is prone to such things, and I can read in her tone that it was meant quite sweetly. You must learn to listen to Simoon, to care for her. Seek out my fellow machinists on your travels, Sable. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. Oh, here, and take this. It's a machinist badge. You'll meet plenty of my ilk on your gliding. Know them, show them your worth, and they'll give you some more badges. I thank Simone twice. Ciso. Where does Simone come from? I thank Ciso twice for good measure and give a bow. I am ready. I'm ready. <coughs> I should speak to Jaddy about the final gliding ceremony. Can I have it? Can I has it? Oh, okay. I'll take my other bike. The hand-me-down. You! I remember you. You made me touch bugs. I didn't even see that ledge. Oh my god. Oh, why did my camera jerk my neck up like that? So I'm walking into a wall, maybe? Oh, bye, Chan. I return to Jaddy with new lightness. And it makes the weight of my departure feel heavier still. What a day. Sable, is that a badge you've got there? Ciso gave it to me. I'm already gliding. I don't think I am. I tell Jaddy that Susan gave me the badge. And you must have earned it. Well done. I give a bow of thanks. Well, I suppose you can't really smile. Well, Sable, if you keep this up, you'll be headed for the mask... Canister? I'm sorry. If you keep this up, you'll be headed for the mask canister in... No mask caster in no time. Oh. Did they, like, curse us? Is that why they're a mask caster? Is they cursed us with masks in our face permanently? <laughs> I tried to think about going to a mask caster, but it seems impossibly far away. Imagining, imagine choosing what I want to be. Does your mask define what you are? Imagine choosing what I want to be forever. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You'll get plenty of badges when you're out there, and once you've got three alike, you can trade it in for that mask. Oh! Am 
am I going to be able to like collect different profession masks? So I have. Will the t wait? Will the cartographer give me one? I should go back and talk to him. Gliding is about freedom and exploration. I suggest you claim as many masks as you wish. Should should have read that for yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Only at your final ceremony will be asked to choose one. Oh, which one should I choose? Got the field out, but when you know, you'll know. Now, to tone, the tone of her now puts the butterflies back in my stomach. With all of this done, there's only one thing left. It's time then, isn't it? Time to walk through the face door at the Temple of Roja. That's where we were at the beginning of the game. There, you'll assemble your gliding mask. I'm going to get a different mask. There are things I wish to convey to Jetty here. Depths of love, gratitude, fear, worry, and hope. <clears throat> and though I find myself unable to speak of it, uh, any words of it, speak any of it in words, I know she understands. Before you leave, child. Hmm. I made you these. They are dyed with the traditional Ebexi maroon, and I hope provide you great comfort out in the desert. What about the hot rod red? When you leave today, you'll no longer be Sable. Plan child of the Ebexi. You'll simply be, simply be Sable, and the rest will come. But no matter what you are, no matter where your journey takes you, I will always know you and will always love you. And I will see you again. I don't know where my journey will end, but I know where it must begin. I am ready. So, is the goal of the game, the goal of the gliding, to go collect masks and experience what the masks are for and then come back when I'm satisfied with, like, a mask? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if the cartographer will, like, Give me a mask? I shall become a cartographer. And uh, I'll draw the landscape and make sure to write down every places, every place that uh, has one of those invisible ledges. Uh, just watch your step all over the place on the map. Yo, can I have a mask? Greetings, child. Hurl, child. Good talk. Oh, we're walled in. What's this? I'm going to go there and find out. I have to go through the, the face, which will, like, I guess, lead me out here, and then I can eventually find my way back. I have no idea. But, for right now... Hello, little glider. It's so strange being called that. Okay. Crystal farmers. I gleamed crystal far farmers from that. I want to say goodbye to this guy. This guy is my favorite so far. Hi, friend. Halal quotes from a selection of obscure and lyrically mediocre Ibexi historical ballads whenever I pass by. There's a great verse. Oh, he doesn't want to say goodbye? No, they, they join me afterwards. They, they come to see me off. Right? So, can I have this bike? Uh... You gonna say the same thing? Oh, okay. I guess we're going. I'm assuming we come back. I never met this guy down here. I'm getting sidetracked. It's fine. <laughs> Hi. Umar is a man of few words, and he's nothing if not consistent. How are you digging straw out of the ground, sir? Did I turn you? My apologies. Let me let me get you let me get you situated. There you there you go. There you go. You can uh, get back to whatever it is you were doing. Ah. See, so you better be delivering my other bike. Oh, like, thank you. Thank you. Oh, Facey. Face Senpai. Doors are so conveniently open since the last time we were here. Hi, Face Senpai. 
Ah! Oh my god, there's a face behind the face. Oh god. Don't start talking to me, please. Uh, is this? Oh god. It's a jumping puzzle. It's a jumping puzzle. Okay, it's a jumping puzzle. Progression is which way, though? I'm assuming I don't want to go into the ground. Don't think there's anything for me on the ground. I think I go this way? Wait, how do I get up? This goes up. Oh, don't tell me I have to drop down to get some chests that are on lower floors. There's a noise. Let's get the synthesizer. Uh, yeah, there's stairs over here. Okay. Up here. Up. Oh my goodness. Up the wall. So I don't really know where we're going. Are we just... Are we going up there? No. To the statue? To the statue. The statue. Chest. Oh, this is going to make me start the room over if I go over here. It's a bigger chest, right? Cheetos! A cache of 100 Cheetos! <laughs> made from metal, harvested... Made from cheddar, harvested from... Cheeto ships. They have holes punched through the middle where a rope can be slid through for easy convenient transportation. That makes sense. That... Seems pretty cool. Okay, I can just go back like this. I don't think running makes you go any farther, either. There's already a statue this way. Do I have to, inter uh, do I have to interact with you? No. I have to interact with this. Ah. Oh, it's a mask. Oh, yeah, that's right. The goddess would be like the only face I've seen. That's strange. Why am I on the ground? Oh. Let's get the start over over here then. Not start over, but progress. Progress by walking to the other side. Yes. It's a very suspicious looking rock. I don't like it. Looks like a giant peanut half. It's been roasted to a golden brown, glazed with honey. Chocolate. Or fecal matter. Up the wall. Hi. Mr. Astronaut? Astronaut? Flying Bugman Astronaut? Archer? Okay. Oh, shh. Fine. It's fine. We're fine. We're fine. 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 Okay. Oh, there's a third one. Who shot it? No, I don't want to. I may have shaved off some time with that? No. I'm, uh, back where I was. However... I might be able to get some more distance if- oh my goodness. I might be able to get some more distance if I do it from higher up. 
Can I do it off your head? Can I climb your butt? Oh, there's a wall there. I don't like that. I can get on top of this statue. Do not get stuck on the stalag tights. That's the right one. Don't fact check me. And... There's only one chest this whole thing, and it was at the very beginning. Oh, okay. So you better not. The other piece of the mask. It's a very thick mask. I... Mask! Are they gonna have different emotions? I don't like that. Are you the... Okay, the mask is already floating. Is this my gliding mask? Kind of... Kind of menacing looking. Oh, they're all happy. Some of them are missing heads. But they're happy. Oh wait, no, they're sad. Happy! Wait, happy! Sad. Happy! Sad. Happy! Oh, you're missing a mask! Wait, hold on! This guy's left out! You don't even have a head! Can this one borrow yours? Ah! It flung me up. Oh, that's cool. A Vexi mask. Return to camp. Oh! Now I go through the other... the other door. Okay, that makes sense now. This didn't... This didn't go anywhere. I can go through this one now. Where was the dough? This way. Oh, with the direction of the ladder, Rob. Where are you? Oh, they took my bike! I guess that makes sense. They've taken it, now they're gonna give me the new one. Hello, I'm back. Who stole my bike? <gasps> I have mail! So when it's dinging and red, logging in. Hello, Sable. Jaddy's voice echoes strangely through the machine, yet it still warms me. Where did you go? Well, Sable, this is it. By the time you're hearing this, we will have gone. The gliding is a journey that must be must, must begin alone. There's a certain nuance lost in transmission, and for that, I am grateful. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice and not run weeping in not run weepingly into her arms to stay forever. But I am ready. And so I close my eyes and listen. But th but but though you go by yourself, you are not without friends. You are not without family. You are not without love. These things you will always carry with you, as do your mask. And now, I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go and see Utari. The, they're the machinist at Burnt Oak Station and among Sizo's closest friends. Utari is a good contact to have on one's gliding, and a fine way to get another machinist badge if you're so incl inclined. Only a suggestion though. As for us, I'll send another message, I'll send another message once we've returned to the Ewer. So keep an eye on the post boxes and try not to forget us. She takes a long breath and I forget that things as easily as breathing could ever exist. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. Where's my bike? Thanks and all. Where's my bike? Dead. Where's my bike? 
Why are the mountains ripping apart? Oh, yeah, see the door? There's... They moved... Interesting. It hit me! Okay. We got the new bike. Is it going to be all like bumpity like the other one was? Nope. Let's move. Alright. So, is this just gone? How did you move all that while I was gone? Does it slide? It does not look lubricated. She's got some strong, strong mask wares. Where did I go? Come to me, show us the way I'm caught between the window parts of the unknown. A door between two worlds. A sight to see. It feels like everything is moving. Oh. To, I had to sit there and listen to that. That was that was great. Um, on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. That was beautiful. <laughs> and next time, we have to go talk to this guy. Come on, guy up here. We're going to go talk to him. It's only suggestion though, but it's the only objective we have. So. Until next time, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, expect more in the future. Bye.